Hi, I'm here with Ryan Garman. Uh, he is an assistant coach here at Grand Valley mm -hmm. uh, for GVSU Baseball. And uh, we were discussing in class uh, relational and instrumental learning, as is discussed by SCEMP. And uh, the idea was, can we connect those ideas to an area outside of school or outside of mathematics? And Ryan had some really interesting thoughts, so he volunteered to share them. Yeah, that uh, question caught my eye right away on the worksheet. And, uh, of course, I correlated it with baseball. And applying baseball and uh, now coaching baseball, you can really see the difference between instrumental teaching and learning and then relational learning. Um, as a player, um, past two years, um, I have played at Grand Valley State, and there are times that you do want the coach to sit there instrumentally, show you the mechanics, what you're doing wrong, and how you can fix it. But relational learning, you can really tell on a player when he's thrown into, say, like a live bullpen or a game situation that, um, say, his ball is, is running high in it, maybe in the third and fourth inning that those mechanics that we went instrumentally learning and teaching before, maybe the week, two weeks before, um, can he put it into practice, actually, and be able to correct himself? Um, a player that you know did have that relational understanding, that relational learning part of it, you'll notice, like I said, if a ball's running high and in on, on a batter, uh, to a right-handed batter, if uh, instead of uh, the pitcher or player continuing to just throw ball after ball, he'll take a step back, understand what he's doing mechanically that, that's allowing the ball to run high and in and correct himself. Um, an ins um, instrumental learner uh, will you know, keep throwing the ball high and in, high and in, high and in. And then as a coach, we'll have to go out there and tell him that you're getting tired, your elbow's dropping, your arm's lowering. That's what's making you throw the ball high and in. So to help them correct that, we have to go out there and actually tell them. Um, that is, that's a big, big, uh, big thing that I see the difference between instrumental and um, relational learning. So thank you. That's really interesting. And uh, um, I like the idea of how you can kind of recognize that on the fly in a game situation. Mm -hmm. um, have you found any way in practice to kind of increase players' relational learning, or are there uh, things you can do to help them kind of transition from the one to the other? Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, just playing catch, or like I said, even in a bullpen, instead of stopping them and telling them what they're doing um, and how to fix it, you tell them, hey, your ball's running a little high and in, or it's low and away. And then you, you pick up and you notice and see if they actually make the corrections themselves to get the ball in the strike zone and where they want it to be and where you want it to be. Oh, very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, thanks very much for sharing. Is there anything else you wanted to add to that? Uh, no, pretty good. Uh, great. Thanks very much. Yep, no problem.